So, we have been asked to present two images that we believe represent uh, Japan in its modern context, and um, I will show you these two images that I've decided on. They're contrasting, but I will explain later why I believe that, you know, Japan is embedded with the ideas that are portrayed in them. Cue pictures. Yes, excellent. The traditional uh, tea ceremony known as the Chono Yu, performed by a woman in traditional dress of the kimono in a traditional house known as a rokan. Okay, very cultural. Now to contrast with that, boom shakalaka comes to spirit man. Yes, another lady, but she is not real, she is a robot. Uh, this image was just to illustrate Japan in its present context as a modernized, innovative uh, powerhouse um, in electronics um, exporting business. Um, you know, this, this is something that um, even us in Australia can appreciate. Um, the amount of products that we have um, from Japan, whether it be air conditioners, um, computers, video games, etc. And I think um, this sort of stuff is embedded in Japanese culture today. Um, as Japanese people are all all consumers of this sort of thing, as well as as well as producers, and it really drives. Um, most most of the way people 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 live their lives. Um, obviously, these technological innovations um, can make things easier. And, well, why not? Um, contrasting with that, the the previous image um, of that you know the the ancient tea ceremony, um, it has a lot of hit. Um, it refers to the history of Japan, um, the ancient culture, which I believe is being preserved. Um, yeah, not has not died at all with, with Japan's modernization, but yes, has been preserved. You may see it. Um, these sort of ceremonies, and along with the traditional dress and um, house, um, accompanying you know, special ceremonies in in Japanese people's lives. Uh, examples: uh, the um, marriage and and funerals, etc. Um, and you know, this this tea ceremony or any other any other cust customary that date back um, to the feudal era, um, you know, they're based on these ideals of respect um, through grace and uh, good etiquette. And even studying the language, you can see that these ideas of these same ideas of re respect are embedded within the language through um, you know, the polite forms of speech, depending on who you are talking to and this doesn't seem to have really died at all. Um, so yeah, I think even though these two images are contrasting, they can be seen to be relevant to the overall um, image of Japan in 2014.